finally feeling like fall, Carson. Speaking of which, ghouls, goblins, and vampires. It is scary season over at Six Flags over Texas and Arlington, and there is plenty to look forward to for Halloween. Sharon Parker joins us live now from Six Flags. Sharon, the excitement is building up. What can we expect at Fright Fest this year? You can expect more than 20 attractions filled with fright um, in the evenings. Fright Fest here at Six Flags Over Texas is known as being the scariest in North Texas. No one is safe once the sun sets. We have more than six premium haunted houses, three of them brand new, and we also have five free scare zones. So if you want to just walk around the park with your friends, you're guaranteed to have a scare at every corner. They have assured me no one is, is safe. <laughs> It seems like you've got some scary friends behind you right there. Tell me a little bit about how many of those we can expect around the park this year. Um, I'm really excited to uh, brag on our entertainment team. They work on this product year round and there are more than 200 characters. If you can imagine, it takes about four hours to make up 200 characters and get them out into the various uh, haunted houses and um, all the scare zones. We have uh, gallons and gallons of fake blood that's used throughout the day. And um, then a lot of fog is consumed during the run of Fright Fest. There's more than 30 days of the run. Um, the majority of it is happening starting this weekend. So starting this weekend, going into all of next week, we are open. And then you go into the following weekend and that's when the last run of Fright Fest and ends on November 3rd. Oh my gosh, they are just cracking me up. Okay, so for the kiddos, or maybe I know some of my friends that just hate not clowns to and <laughs> cannot stand clowns. Uh, are there any times that Fright Fest you can still enjoy the rides while the park's open and maybe not have the scary additions? like the one standing behind me. Yes, um, thrills by day is the best time for the little ones to come out or the ones that are a little more skirmish like myself. That's when I like to come out and enjoy the park. You can do the trick or treat trail with the Looney Tunes characters. You can also do the costume catwalk for the little ones. And then you can also sing your heart out like Kelly Clarkson during our scary Oki hour. So there's plenty of opportunity to come out and enjoy the rides. You can enjoy that from park open to park close. Um, but at park close, you'll have the additional additional attractions like my friends behind me. All right, so I don't want to get too I ahead of ourselves, the but evening. <laughs> what about holiday in the park? Can you tell us anything about that happening closer to Christmas time? Yes, if imagine if you will, in two short weeks after Fright Fest, uh, the park transforms into a winter wonderland and beginning November 23rd is when we kick off holiday in the park. So our team works fast and furious. It's all hands on deck to make sure that people can enjoy the most magical time of the year. Kind of awkward to be talking about it as we have these guys standing behind us, but um, it's a great opportunity for families to come out and enjoy everything that that season has to offer. All right. Do you have any scary deals that we should know about or look for on your website? Yes, so the best deals can be found online, sixflags.com. You can get a membership for as low as $6.99, so you can enjoy unlimited fun here at our park year-round. Starting next year, we're going to be opening um, all of January, all of February on the weekend, so you can get that membership and have the best bang for your buck uh, by coming out to Six Flags Over Texas and enjoy Fright Fest, Holiday in the Park, Spring Break, you name it. We're, we're here for you. All right, looking forward to it. Thank you very much for checking in with us this morning.